Welcome to The Juice, where we're talking about getting more of what we want and less of what we don't. Hi, I'm Jory Desjardins of Blog Her, and with me is yoga, yoga instructor Lorna Reed, who is going to show us about something that I'm told constantly and that I don't do enough, stretching. So you counsel women and men all the time about where they're going to get their stretching breaks. I'm sure you deal with busy people. When do you suggest that people get stretching in during the day? As often as possible, um, of course, everyone, our lifestyles vary, are very different. Um, as often as possible, let's say scenario, you're going to work and you approach your desk and it's probably a good idea to take a stretch before you start, clear the mind, um, maybe set your outlook for several, you know, every two hours to get up and I take a stretch. I love that because I always yes, set my yes. outlook to do things and I right. get the little ding ding and right. I know I need to call somebody, but why not stretch? So I was on the blogs, and there is a blogger who had a wonderful story that I can entirely relate to. Workout Mommy blog uh, has oh. said, my hamstrings <laughs> are so tight that I could barely go to some of the poses in yoga. It's pathetic, and I can oh. entirely relate yeah. to that. What is it about the hamstrings? What does that say if our, if mm. our hamstrings are tight? Yes, that's a good question. Um, sometimes it's genetic. Uh, Sometimes it's um, gender. Men tend to be a little bit stiffer than ladies. And I always assumed it was because I sat all day or oh, was on airplanes. Oh, sedentary lifestyle, sure, can exacerbate or can increase inflexibility. So get out and move. Very important. <laughs> so you're a yoga instructor. You can explain to me why at the beginning of class we do eye exercises. Eye exercises tend to, we, we do, we're, we're very stimulated visually in what we see. You know, we're if we can learn to relax the eye, the eye has a better sense of, of focus. You can focus more and the mind, mind is clear. So in other words, if you can relax your eyes and focus, you don't strain them. Does makes that, sense. It makes sense. sense. Okay. So when we do left, right, actually walk me through an Exercises. eye. Exercises. Yeah. Well, what I like to start, I look at the, the eye as a clock. Okay. So if I look up, there's 12. If I look to the right, there would be three. You know, you're just going in quarters <laughs> around the clock. What this does is give you a full rotation of the eye. Hence, exercising the eye, uh, vision increases, and your eyes look bright. You look happy. What yes. other common areas do we need to stretch because of having sedentary lifestyles or because we're working all day? What are some of the common areas where you find that people generally need you to mean stretch? sitting. Um, yes, sitting. But some of the things that we do that tend to keep us crunched. Oh, neck, shoulders. Yes. <laughs> neck and shoulders for one. I mean, you can sit at your desk and just rotate the head gently from side to side. Hands, you don't think of hands as carrying stress, but their hands work a lot. So stretching the hands at the desk is very important. Musicians use a lot of stretches as well to keep the hands fluid and moving. There's many stretches that I can show you or, sh or share with you. Show me one that for, for carpal tunnel. Oh, just, just sitting, in fact, just interlocking fingers and just pressing the arms forward. So you would just press forward, good. Maintaining strong spine, right, or, or, or length to the spine. You might even try just something so simple as pulling fingers back. Oh yeah. And this is the one I like most. I like to practice this one seat, uh, seated actually forward. Do you feel the stretch in through? Yes. This is a really good one. And so to the other side as yeah. well. Oh, and you always yeah, you have, have to feel do that. the other side. Right and left. You have to keep a balance of all things. Everything you do on yes. one, you do on the other. Oh, absolutely. So Lorna, can you show me a hamstring exercise, something that I can do on a regular basis to stretch? Absolutely. Great. I'm going to start with a sort of a modified version of the stretch and then working into the stretch for somebody with a little bit more flexibility through hamstrings. So I'm going to go great. ahead and start for you. Um, very important is angles. So when I approach the mat, um, I want my feet stable and I want a sense that I have connectivity to the floor, my surface, otherwise my foundation will be shaky. So I'm going to start grounding myself and again the first stretch is, is a modified version of a hamstring stretch so my knee will be bent. Um, almost to a 90 degree angle. So I'll begin to lean forward, keeping my abdominals in, and also exercising my eyes by staring at a single point. <laughs> now from this point, I'll move into more of an advanced version of the stretch by straightening the leg and falling into it. And again, you can always bring the hands to the floor. You can bend your knee through it. There's really no right or wrong way to do this other than just finding, again, a sense of connectivity, a sense of balance, right? Beautiful. Thanks, Lorna, for your help today. You're welcome, Jory. And thanks to Trop50 from Tropicana for making the juice possible. 
We want to share your advice and tips, especially if you record a video tip or have a blog we can feature. Join us at blogger.com slash the juice where you'll find sweepstakes, you'll get to connect with myself and Lorna, and you'll meet the rest of the community. We'll see you there.